Our next uh, uh, testimony comes from Gail Manchin. Um, she is the board chair of Reconnecting McDowell. Uh, Reconnecting McDowell is an initiative that is a multi-year effort to recreate a brighter economic future for McDowell County, West Virginia. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for allowing me to join you, and it's certainly an honor to be here speaking on behalf of Reconnecting McDowell and West Virginia. This was an initiative that was started four years ago by myself and Randy Weingarten, president of AFT. The goal was to reinvigorate and revive a community that had been totally devastated by uh, the, the energy bust, the lack of, of coal mining in that area. And so children's education, housing, transportation, health care, all became um, issues in which McDowell County became tops in the worst of in all of these lists. And not only first on top of the list in West Virginia, but across the nation. So reconnecting McDowell was a, a, an initiative that created a partnership to start turning this picture around. And what we knew, uh, I'm also a former president of our state school board and president of the national state school boards, and which means I'm old, so I've been around for a while. But what we knew is one entity could not solve the problem. The state school board had taken over McDowell County over 10 years ago because of the low success across the county and its schools. And 10 years later, achievement had not improved at all. And so as a state, what had we done? The county had tried, then the state tried, and they did not succeed either. What we found out was when children are hungry, when they're neglected, when they don't have a home, that all of these services that we have to look at children holistically. And when you think about Appalachia, West Virginia is the only state that's totally in the Appalachia complex. We're talking about areas that are very isolated. We say rural, they're rural by geography, they're rural by isolation, people living far out into the, what we call hollards. And so how do we address those issues and ensure that children get the same opportunities and quality of education that every child in our state and in our country deserves? And so when this initiative started, this partnership, that was our goal, to improve the achievement of children in West Virginia, but in, all, in doing that, also improve the economic development and economic recovery of that area because in order to sustain and grow it has to be the multitude of those and so we have a partnership of over 125 partners partners from all walks from national level state level local level business community labor community faith community nonprofits corporations private citizens because it takes everyone filling one part, taking uh, a, one from column A, something from column B, something from column C, and integrating all that so that as we work together, we're creating an effective, sustainable project. Not only sustainable just in McDowell County, there are other McDowell counties in West Virginia, but more importantly, there are McDowell counties across this country. We know that about one in every five children that graduate from high school comes from rural America. We can't afford to lose a fifth of our population, of our children and its future because we are not offering the same quality of education, the same opportunities, the same resources. You know, we look at McDowell County and 28% of these children do not live in a home where an adult is gainfully employed. Almost half of the children in this county do not live with a biological parent. 
and this is due to incarceration, drug abuse, so they live with grandparents, they live with foster parents, sometimes they look for anywhere they can go at night. The county has one of the highest rates of obesity, accidental prescription drug overdoses, and an array of, of serious health problems. So the schools face those issues, but they also face the issue of teacher turnover, primarily because there is no housing available in McDowell County. Teachers that are recruited to come in to teach there live in Bluefield or Beckley, which is an hour drive either way for those teachers to come. And of course, when a teaching position becomes open in Beckley or Bluefield, those teachers leave McDowell County and go to where they can teach closer. There's nothing more sad than to have a high school student look you in the eye and say, why do teachers not like us? What are we doing wrong? Why do people not want to come and teach in our school? And that's heartbreaking. And so as a result, um, and, and 20, 125 partners later, we have undertaken uh, several steps to, to move forward, and we have moved forward. We are showing some success in McDowell County, but one of the initiatives is now to build a Renaissance Village, a housing uh, unit building for teachers and other professional people mm -hmm. in what we call downtown, McDowell, uh, Welch, West Virginia, which would have retail services on the first level to hopefully inspire economic development, and then mm -hmm. the upper floors would be apartments. Miss uh, Miss Mansion. Yes. I'm sorry. I, wait, the, you can't see the clock here. We're running a little uh, little long, but I, I wanted to ask you a specific question. And we have a few minutes left uh, okay. uh, to this. In terms of the specific policy for the platform, how would you prioritize the recommendations you would make for us uh, to address the issues of McDowell and other similar counties uh, facing uh, the crises you, you, you note? What, give us a couple of specific policy recommendations, if you could, in the, in the few minutes we have remaining. Okay, and, and I apologize. Uh, I think first and foremost, for sustainability and anything you begin like this, you want to be sure that you're able to sustain it over time when, so that when the original partners are gone, it's still growing. You have to work with the people in that community. You can't go in and do it for them. You go in and do it with them. But it takes that whole multitude from the national level, state and local, working together uh, to assist and provide the support and resources that are needed. The closest analogy that I can make is that if indeed it takes a village to raise a child, who raises the village? Mm -hmm. And it's that partnership that you form between business, faith community, all these different entities coming together that can provide the resources and support that allows that community to grow, form its foundation, and be able to sustain itself. Well, thank you. Are there any other questions from colleagues? Thank you so much for your, for your testimony. And now I'll turn it over to Nira.